The status of Puerto Rico has been a dominating factor in the island's political history, and it now seems that its polarizing effect during the economic recession has made it more difficult to reach consensus. Well, you see, uh, when Puerto Rico was facing economic uh, distress in the 40s, uh, the New York and, and the United States became a, a mechanism for them to come like any other uh, immigrant to pursue a better opportunity, better opportunities for, 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 for themselves and their families. Uh, but right now we don't know because you remember the, imp the, the economic situation and the economic crisis in, in the United States is, is, has more implications for Puerto Rico. An island already suffering from its economic woes has been recently hard hit by thousands of layoffs and a rising crime something that some may see as an inability of economic growth. In just eight months, look at everything that has happened here. There's a general discontent and annoyance that transpired in that we're all here showing that people within different parties, political and religious ideologies, and different sectors of our community have all gathered with the same purpose of showing how angry we are with this law, which I don't know who created it, but it's driving for Puerto Rico and all those residing here. On March 3rd, the President's Tax Force on Puerto Rico status met in Puerto Rico for a public hearing, where White House officials could listen to the concerns and ideas from the people of Puerto Rico, community leaders, and academics. The President recognizes that we have much more to do, and we know that we need to work hand in hand with you to continue moving forward. That's why we're here. Thank you for welcoming us, and we look forward to hearing from you today. Will there be a change? Is anybody else listening? Will the status be resolved? That is not a question for me to answer. Uh, that is a question that should be answered by the people of Puerto Rico. As a member of Congress, not as a Puerto Rican, as a member of Congress, as a legislator, uh, uh, we have a moral responsibility to provide for a mechanism that will allow for the people of Puerto Rico their right to self-determination. What the choice is going to be that has to be decided by the people of Puerto Rico. What the options are going to be, what are those political options, enhanced commonwealth, statehood, independence, associated um, commonwealth, though, uh, those are options that need to be decided and defined by the people of Puerto Rico, not by the United States of America, after all. The people of Puerto Rico will be the one living the consequences of their political actions and decisions, not the United States Congress. Our responsibility is to provide such a mechanism. In the past, the task force has been given other responsibilities, while its original mission has yet to bear fruit. The people want a solution, and they feel it's the Congress and the White House turn to deliver. Mm -hmm.